China is witnessing a surge in respiratory illnesses, especially among children. Many have pneumonia, while China has been that has been attributed to circulation of various pathogens such as mycoplasma pneumonia. Earlier, I posed the question to China's foreign minister about the increase in pneumonia cases in the country when he visited New York. Listen in to what Wang Yi had to say. China has full-fledged medical systems. Recently, we have seen some clusters of flu cases in children in certain parts of China, and that is a common phenomenon. In many countries and in China, it has been put under effective control. China's interaction with international communities will not be affected by any factor, and we welcome more faces from friends and from across the world, including you. He was also responding to a question when I asked him if China would impose any travel restrictions due to the outbreak. The minister said China's interactions with international community will not be affected by any factor, as you heard. The on-the-ground reality, however, paints a grim picture. These are the latest images from a hospital in Shanghai. You can see busy pediatric wars in Children's Hospital of Fudan University. And according to Chinese authorities, Shanghai is receiving more than 8,000 outpatient emergency visits and distributing more than 1,400 outpatient intravirus drips per day. A video has emerged from China. It shows children are doing their homework while hooked to drips. Parents, too, can be seen hooked to IV drips, all because of this quote-unquote undiagnosed respiratory illness. China blames the surge on an overlap of different viruses, such as influenza and rhinoviruses, China denies any new virus behind the spike, seeing the rise in cases of respiratory illness. In the United States, a congressional committee has sent a letter to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention demanding that it be more transparent regarding the mysterious outbreak of pneumonia in China, stressing that the agency could not repeat its pandemic-era mistakes. Last week, the World Health Organization had asked China to provide more information about the illness.